Okay, silly me. Um, I forgot there was a part E to this problem. It came off on a separate page. So uh, part E, I don't like. I'll tell you why I don't like it in a minute. So uh, part E deals with these, these students um, setting an unknown mass cart so replacing the, the cart whose mass they knew with an unknown mass cart, setting it oscillating, and creating this motion, uh, this this motion diagram. So this uh, position versus time diagram using a motion sensor. How do they use that to determine the mass of the new cart? So the answer to that essentially, um, it comes from oscillation. Okay. So um, what we have is basically what what it comes down to is the mass. Whoops, sorry. Do, 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 do. Uh, the net force on the cart, well, what, what it comes down to is that, is that a, a spring mass system will oscillate with omega equals square root k over m. Okay, so uh, the process I would say they should go through here, to describe this quickly, is uh, to basically uh, one, I don't know if you need numbers, okay, um, one, uh, read oscillation period off the plot, okay, two, calculate, uh, omega is two pi divided by the period of oscillation, okay, As you may recall that's how that's how you go both in, in circular motion um, and in, in oscillation, simple harmonic motion. This is how omega relates to period. Okay, and then step three would be use uh, what I just wrote, omega square root k over m with known k, right, because the spring constant was known, to find m. Okay, so that that would be your your quick and dirty description. Um, I don't believe they mean for you to go through and set up simple harmonic motion and then, and then show that omega is root k over m for that. I I assume they mean for you to know that. Um, the problem I have is that oscillation is on the list of things that they're taking off the mechanics exam this year because of uh, you know the social distancing situation. Um, so. I remember they took off universal gravitation and oscillations. So this shouldn't be on this exam. Uh, my guess is uh, these questions existed before they made this exam, uh, this sample exam. I, th I think they, uh, they were using these questions for the progress checks on APcentral.com and uh, the questions they have in this exam were already existed. And then they said, hey, we need to make a, a sample exam for mechanics. So they pulled out two problems that they thought were pretty good. And they just didn't check carefully uh, to see whether these problems, you know, involved things that maybe did or didn't appear in the list of, of allowable topics for 2020. So uh, I wouldn't let this alarm you into thinking you need to understand oscillation. I'm just giving this to you as the answer. This, to, to me, this is the only reasonable answer to question E. I really can't see how you would do it otherwise. So I, I think this is just kind of a minor goof up uh, on the part of the college board. But there you go. There's your answer. Mm -hmm.